In this segment, we we'll demonstrate a counter strain technique for a posterior thoracic tender point in the region from T9 through T12. And we're going to treat the patient in the prone position. And the primary motion is going to be extension. So we could have the patient lying on a pillow or actually extend the head of the table a little bit to add some extension of the thoracic spine. We could have our tender point location. We find the common costal cartilage of the 10th rib, follow the 10th rib up to T10, and we find the spinous process of T10, and then we find the spinous process of T9. Let's say we find a tender point on the inferior tip of the spinous process of T9. The primary motion here would be extension. We have the patient's arm hanging off the table on that side. We would elevate the table or have the patient lie with a pillow. You could stand on either side of the table, but the primary motion here is coming across, grabbing the anterior superior iliac spine and lifting up toward the ceiling, which is going to add primarily extension. It may add a little bit of side bending. In this case, it would add side bending to the left, but it also it would rotate the segment that is associated with the tender point, would actually rotate, in this case, by lifting the right iliac crest, it would rotate the segment to the left. We reprobe or press, and hopefully we can alleviate the tender point, and we quantified it initially as a 10, hopefully it's a zero, or as close to zero as possible. If we have to fine tune with more extension, we would hold for 90 seconds, reprobe every 30 or so to make sure we still have maintain our position of optimal comfort. After 90 seconds, we could just totally relax, fall asleep, and then reassess or reprobe to make sure that we have a zero or at least a 70% reduction of the original tenderness. Now, we might also find a tender point on the inferior lateral tips of the spinous processes. So we can either use our index fingers or our thumbs and coming up on a 45 degree angle and eliciting tenderness off that inferior lateral tip. In this case, if we found one off the right inferior lateral tip, we might actually add a little bit of side bending away by taking the legs, or we could have the torso, so we make side bending away. You could stand on the same side. And again, now we're going to add that lift with the crest, and again, fine-tune with more lift or extension of the thoracic spine, as well as rotation. And again, by lifting the pelvis up on the right, the upper segments are rotating to the left. Find the position of optimal comfort, hopefully zero, and then hold for 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, of course, we relax and re reposition to neutral, and then reassess the tender point, hopefully at least a 70% reduction. So that's posterior thoracic tender points in the lower thoracic region in the prone position.